Welcome back guys to another session on dynamic programming and today we are talking about 6.22 which is n numbers a1 to a n we're trying to make a target value of t. The problem is uh, very similar to the backpack problem uh, and you can only use each number just one time which is one variant of the backpack problem. So the solution is essentially very similar and uh, this is just a different way to package that same problem. Uh, we're going to define a probability function or a possibility function here. I j i would be how many you know if the coins were arranged if the numbers or I keep saying coins, but if the numbers were arranged uh, and there shouldn't be a, a zero here. If a one to a n is the numbers, uh, pardon me, this a zero shouldn't be there. And if you put them from one to n, then um, you, you can vary i and if you vary i which means how many of these numbers are included in your set if i reach to i then only a1 through a i are included and i can vary if if i equals zero that means no, no none of these numbers are used okay i'm going to cancel this a0 or assume a0 is null right the j is the value that you're trying to make and the j, the value we try to make is from zero to t and t is the target value that we're going to make so then the possibility function pij can be written as if the value that you're making is zero then it's always true because you can always make it let's assume that as a boundary condition because it makes our solution easier zero zero is also true but if you want to with no coins if you try to make any non-zero value if if target value is non-zero and you try to make it with null set of numbers or coins or whatever you cannot make it it's false right so keep that in mind. This is these are the boundary conditions, and then the two possibilities are if you the value you're trying to make is larger than the ith number or you know coin as in the backpack problem, then you have this equation that either you take if you take ai in that value, then you look up i minus one the residual value which is j minus ai, or if you don't take it, you don't have to take it. The interesting thing is that even if AI fits in there, you don't have to take it. You might take a different route. And if I minus one uh, set of numbers can be taken and the full value can be taken from the previous stage, that's fine too. So you have to OR these two values in this case. And you know, spend a few moments here because this, this will trip you up. So, uh, so these are the two possibilities where you can come from and you or them and that gets you the best of all possibilities um, then you look at the case where ai is large and it doesn't fit that means you cannot take it uh, and if you don't take it then i minus one j just like the previous one i minus one j is the other possibility so these these are the equations these will basically define every uh, every square that you'll try to fill uh, in this so let's look at that next so we fill up the boundary conditions here when j equals zero it's all true right doesn't matter if the value i'm trying to make is zero then it's always possible let's assume that and then if the if the number of coins is zero uh, that means that or number of uh, integers is zero that means I have a null set if you want to make any value that is non-zero with a null set you cannot make it so these are all false okay now let's try filling these numbers going forward from j equals one. So if the value you're trying to make is one, now let's start with the very first number that we have. And you know, our, I just assume that that number is five, let's say, just for the sake of example. If that number is five, then you're gonna fall under, you know, the j, j is one and one is less than five. So you're gonna fall in this last condition for a while. So the last condition means you just look up look up and copy this value this is false this is false it's just going to keep copy till you reach this point and once you reach uh, that point what happens is that this other equation this one starts to come into effect and this equation means that you have to take an or of the one above it which is false or you go in the above row and go left by you know the value ai and if you go left by five you come to zero so it is true so it's true or false, and you have to do an or condition between these two. If any of these path works, then you have a solution. So true or false becomes true, and that's the value that you'll write here. 
So this is this is basically it. That's the algorithm. You just fill up all these boxes, and once you reach this bottom right corner, you have j equals t, and you have used i equals n. So you have exhausted all the numbers, and you have the target value that you're trying to make, and this would be your answer right here. You could read the answer right here. So this would be either true or false, and that will tell you whether there is a subset that exists within this uh, uh, set of numbers that will make t or not. Very similar to the coin making problem, change making problem, or, or you can say backpack problem, very, very similar. These are all variations, different formulations of the same exact problem. Now, uh, the order of the algorithm as was asked in the problem, it's nt because you have n numbers on this side and t values on this side. Overall, the solution is arrived at in order nt. So that's it, guys. This is the solution, and hopefully you enjoyed the solution. And uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to come back again and look at more problems to come. We are not at the end yet, but we are very, very close. Uh, and so I'm going to continue to bring you these problems and uh, keep coming back to the channel if you want to see them. Thanks a lot again, and until next time, bye-bye.